In this video, we'll take a very quick look at some signs of a chemical reaction. So we're going to look at four of them. The first one is a color change. If you see a color change, that might be an indication that a chemical change has taken place or a chemical reaction has taken place. So you can see that this solution here was colorless and a colorless liquid was dropped into the solution and when the two colorless liquids met, they formed this like magenta color. If a chemical reaction takes place, you may also see the formation of a solid. Sometimes a solid is called a precipitate. So here, once again, we have a colorless liquid, another colorless liquid, and when we mix them together, it makes this yellow solid powder. Now you may be asking yourself, well, how is that different from, from this first one here? Well, the difference is, with the color change here, we're not making a solid. Um, necessarily. Um, but, but in this problem, or in this example here, we definitely are. And if we waited um, long enough, what we would see is this yellow solid would settle out at the bottom. Um, conversely, this pink or, or magenta color would be distributed in a uniform fashion throughout the whole flask. Formation of a gas. So here we have some liquid, and then we've added um, some of this chalky stuff to it, and it's bubbled. So these bubbles are an indication that a, or that a reaction has taken place. And lastly, we have a change in temperature, either endothermic or exothermic. Now these are two words we're going to see a lot. Endothermic means heat is going in. Endothermic reactions feel cold. Exothermic reactions mean heat is, is leaving or escaping, and those feel hot. So here's um, an endothermic reaction. This is one of those cold packs um, that you break. And when you break it, the two chemicals mix, um, and heat is absorbed, and it goes into the cold pack, so your skin feels cold. And then here's an exothermic reaction. This is something burning. Now, it should be noted that um, any of these things can take place um, when there's not a chemical reaction. So. If you see a color change, it doesn't necessarily always tell you there was a chemical reaction. Um, but, but these are just indications that a chemical reaction might have taken place. And th these are four very common ones, so take a few moments to memorize those.